Get ready, because one of the Pacific Ocean's most active volcanoes might blow any minute now. Scientists monitoring Axial Seamount, a gigantic underwater lava factory just off the coast of Oregon, say it could erupt literally any time between today and early 2026 at the latest. Yes, it's underwater, but don't get tricked by the ocean's cover. This beast is almost three times taller than the Empire State Building. This volcano is inflating like a souffle at a Michelin-starred restaurant. And scientists are so excited they will live-stream it. Seriously! So, here's the thing. This volcano will explode at any moment now because, well, it's inflating fast. Over the past few months, researchers have noticed that the seafloor is literally rising. It's like Axial is doing its best impression of a waterbed filled with molten rock. Scientists call this inflation, which sounds like something you'd complain about after Thanksgiving dinner. But in volcano terms, it means magma is piling up underground, causing the seafloor to bulge like a souffle that's this close to collapsing. Now, an underwater volcanic eruption might not sound so exotic. After all, most volcanic activity on Earth happens under the sea. Believe it or not, there are more than a million submarine volcanoes quietly churning lava beneath the waves as you watch this. The ocean floor is Earth's biggest volcanic hotspot. What makes Axial Seamount so thrilling is that it's under intense scientific surveillance, unlike any other underwater volcano. It's like the star player in a volcanic reality show, with a network of ocean-bottom instruments giving researchers real-time updates on magma movements, seismic tremors, and crust deformation. In fact, Axial Seamount hosts the world's first-ever underwater volcanic laboratory. Scientists have been keeping a constant eye on it since the 1990s, when they installed sensors that now relay live data straight from the seafloor. This kind of monitoring is unheard of elsewhere and has turned Axial into a geological celebrity, one whose behavior we can track with remarkable precision. Besides, Axial is hilariously predictable. It erupts roughly every decade, and right on cue, it's gearing up for another performance. By mid-2024, it had inflated to nearly the same level as before its last eruption, which means the countdown is on. Scientists are so confident in its schedule that they've set up a volcanic advent calendar, waiting for the day when Axial decides to pop. But hold on! Axial Seamount isn't just your average underwater volcano. It's got style, personality, and a geological identity of its own. Now, most underwater volcanoes, called seamounts, tend to look like cones or flattened domes. Axial laughs in the face of tradition with its unfashionably rectangular caldera, a 2 by 5 mile crater that looks like it was designed by a geologist with a ruler and a grudge against curves. Most volcanoes opt for the classic circular look, but Axial? It went full avant-garde. This caldera is punctuated by fissures, vents, lava channels, and mysterious dome-like structures that rise hundreds of feet high. It's like the volcano's wearing a funky geometrical crown instead of the usual rounded hat. What's more, Axial's location is like prime real estate for geological fireworks. It sits right where two major forces collide, literally. First, it's on the Juan de Fuca Ridge, an underwater mountain range formed where two tectonic plates are slowly pulling apart, like a zipper being undone. Second, it's perched atop the Cobb Hotspot, a deep mantle plume that acts like Earth's sneaky magma espresso machine, pumping molten rock from deep inside the planet and fueling a whole chain of seamounts. To put it plainly, it's like the tectonic plates are reluctant dance partners, sliding away from each other, while the Cobb Hotspot acts as the DJ, turning up the heat and keeping the magma party going. This dual influence creates a complex plumbing system inside the volcano, with magma chambers filling, draining, and shifting in ways scientists are still trying to decode. The competition between the spreading plates and upwelling magma is what gives Axial its unique geological fingerprint. And it's also why this volcano keeps surprising us. Now, we said that Axial Summit isn't just a crater. The truth is that inside, the action gets even weirder and cooler. Well, hotter, but you get it. Axial hosts black smoker hydrothermal vents, which blast superheated water at temperatures exceeding 700 degrees Fahrenheit. 
This is no ordinary underwater hot tub. These vents create one of Earth's most extreme environments, where bizarre creatures thrive in total darkness and scalding heat. Giant tube worms, crabs, colonies of bacteria, and even octopuses live off the mineral-rich plumes that gush from these vents, forming ecosystems completely independent from sunlight and photosynthesis. It's like an alien world beneath the waves, thriving off the volcano's fiery breath. These vent communities are crucial to science, not just because they're strange, but because they may resemble the earliest ecosystems on Earth. Some researchers believe life on our planet may have originated in similar deep-sea hydrothermal environments billions of years ago. Studying them could also help us search for life on icy moons, like Europa and Enceladus, where similar vents might exist beneath their frozen surfaces. When axial erupts, it's like a natural reset button for these communities. The lava wipes everything out, but within months, life comes roaring back. Proof that even in the most hostile environments, real estate is always in demand. For those worrying about tsunamis or coastal disasters, relax. Axial's eruptions are the underwater equivalent of a slow cooker. The immense water pressure keeps things chill, <laughs> well, scalding, but not explosive. So the worst thing that happens is some lava decorates the seafloor, and a few crabs have to find new vents to squat in. This means no massive ash clouds or explosive blasts that could reach the surface. Instead, lava oozes out and spreads across the seafloor, sometimes traveling for miles. But for scientists, this eruption is the golden ticket. Understanding axial patterns could help predict eruptions elsewhere, even on land. Plus, its bizarre ecosystems offer clues about how life might survive on other planets. Not bad for a volcano that mostly just sits around looking rectangular. Still, the volcano's activity can be heard in the form of thousands of small earthquakes every day. Thousands! As if the volcano itself was groaning and creaking, preparing to burst open. Again, we won't feel a thing, but at least they'll help scientists track the magma's movements and the volcano's eruptive cycle. Now, one of the coolest parts of this story is that scientists are preparing to livestream Axial's next eruption for the first time ever. Imagine watching an undersea volcano in action, live, as it's painting the ocean floor with fresh lava. It's like a front row seat to a natural fireworks display, thousands of feet beneath the waves. The livestream will come courtesy of the Ocean Observatory's initiative, which maintains a series of fiber-optic cables linking Axial's instruments directly to shore. It's the Wi-Fi of the deep sea, and it's about to broadcast molten rock in HD. And there's another twist. Scientists have noticed a curious pattern in Axial's eruptions. All three of its most recent eruptions, in 1998, 2011, and 2015, happened between January and April the months when Earth starts moving away from the Sun. So why? Well, it might have something to do with the Moon's gravitational pull. The Moon's orbit causes ocean tides to rise and fall, which changes the pressure on the seafloor and could help nudge the magma chamber to its breaking point. I guess the Moon isn't just a romantic light in the night sky. It might be the ultimate volcanic whisperer. So, one thing's for sure. When Axial goes, it'll be the best documented underwater eruption in history. So, keep your eyes peeled. This is one natural spectacle you won't want to miss. And who knows? If we're lucky, we might even get deep sea eruption ASMR out of the deal. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be refreshing the live feed like it's a Taylor Swift ticket sale. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.